Hey, welcome to the Monty Collier Report. I'm Monty Collier. In this video, I'm going to be talking about YouTube user 1689 Baptist. This man is obsessed with convincing the world that Gordon H. Clark held to the heresy of lordship salvation. Since it is clear that the heresy of lordship salvation identifies Gordon H. Clark's views, especially his view of saving faith, to be easy believism, then we can only wonder what 1689 Baptist must be thinking. At any rate, it should be pointed out that 1689 Baptist is a devoted Lordship Salvation fanatic uh, who has a history of pretending Gordon H. Clark taught the heresy of Lordship Salvation. Consider the absurd titles of a few of his videos. He has a video titled, Gordon H. Clark on Sanctification, Can We Say Lordship Salvation? Part 1 of 2. Uh, this video was uploaded back in May of 2010. Then there is his more recent video titled, Easy Believe Us Wickedly Hate Repentance. Listen and learn, Gordon H. Clark. In this video, 1689 Baptist pretends Gordon H. Clark, who, according to Lordship Salvation, was an Easy Believist, actually condemns Easy Believism. Then there is 1689 Baptist video titled, Hebrews 11, Mere Intellectual Ascent? Hmm? In this video, the confused 1689 Baptist actually attacks Gordon H. Clark's view of saving faith explicitly, thus proving he is not actually a Clarkian, and that he is completely out of his mind when he turns around and claims that he is a Clarkian, while simultaneously holding to Lordship Salvation. I have asked 1689 Baptist to explain how Clark can be a proponent of Lordship Salvation if he is, by definition, an easy believist. This led to the following exchange, where I actually convinced 1689 Baptist to remove his sinful video attacking Clark's biblical view of saving faith. Again, that video was titled, Hebrews 11, Mere Intellectual Ascent. He took that video down at the end of this exchange I had with him and take a look at that exchange. I begin the exchange with the following, quote, Gordon Clark attacked Lordship Salvation in his book Faith and Saving Faith. Monergism.com has articles by major Lordship Salvation proponents identifying anyone who has Gordon H. Clark's view of saving faith, understanding and assent to the gospel alone, to be heretics. According to Lordship Salvation, Gordon H. Clark, by definition, is a heretic. How can you support Gordon Clark when Lordship Salvation identifies his teaching to be heresy, are you hoping people will not find out?" End quote. Okay, 1689 Baptist replies with the following, and I quote, Please tell me how these major Lordship Salvation proponents became the leaders. I didn't vote for them, did you? End quote. Stop right there for a second. I didn't vote for Martin Luther and John Calvin to be the leaders of the Protestant Reformation but if I expect to be able to engage in a discussion and a debate concerning the Protestant Reformation and its theology, it makes good sense to have read Luther and Calvin. So I think um, 1689 Baptist should take that into account. He goes on and says, quote, I have not read any of the works, their works, on Lordship Salvation, end quote. Well, once again, how do you expect to debate or discuss a subject intelligently if you have not read the major works concerning the subject? I think you better go study. He goes on to say the following quote, I claim the term Lordship Salvation solely because of men like Zane Hodges that teach that Christ is divided, he can be Savior or he can be Lord, and that to believe on him is to believe he is Savior only. The Lord part is optional when the Bible says, believe on him, the Lord Jesus Christ, and end quote. So that's his reason for defending Lordship Salvation. Uh, I responded with the following. You were asked how you can be a Clarkian when Lordship Salvation, by definition, identifies Clark's view of saving faith to be heresy. Jeff, you have publicly attacked Clark's views on YouTube. You still have your idiotic video up. You know, the one where you attack Clark's view of saving faith? Your video is called Hebrews 11, Mere Intellectual Ascent. You even have Gordon Clark in the tags. Martin Luther correctly said, a liar 
must have a good memory. Got logic. Jeff responds with the following, as you can see, and let me just point out to you the very bottom here where he says, by the way, I took the video down. So, a little bit upset uh, with the comment, but apparently he thought about what he had done and removed the video attacking Gordon H. Clark. So that's good. Here is the final comment that I made. Mm -hmm.